A House panel has approved a bill that seeks to officially impose taxes on Philippine offshore gaming operators or POGOs. But the Office of the Solicitor General says POGOs are not taxable. Royce Snagit with a story. POGOs or Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators and their workers are a step closer to being taxed. The House Committee on Ways and Means has approved House Bill 5267 which slaps POGOs with a 5% franchise tax and POGO employees earning 50,000 pesos monthly with a 25% income tax. So it's, uh, when you say what is the base, it is bets less payouts. So ngayon kasi each POGOR uh, collects 2% from them and PAGCOR, they collect 8 billion from the 2%. So PAGCOR is the collecting agency with taxes to be remitted to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Under the measure, PAGCOR can only issue licenses for POGOs once they register at the BIR. Salceda projects a revenue of approximately 45 billion pesos from the measure. Alam mo yung 45 billion na makukuha dito sa measure na to, wala akong Pilipino masasaktan. Wala akong consumer. Pangalawa, eh, ang gambling po ay hindi promoted activity. So instead of uh, prohibiting them, the best way is to tax them. But the Office of the Solicitor General counters this, saying POGOs are non-taxable. The National Economic and Development Authority, on the other hand, disagrees with Kalida's opinion. During the Senate Plenary Budget Deliberation, Senator Juan Edgardo Angara, Finance Chairman Committee, explained NEDA's policy standpoint. In fact, they're trying to uh, tax that sector. Pernia, speaking through Angaras, said NEDA would appeal the OSG's opinion. Other government agencies, such as the Labor Department and Cagayan Economic Zone Authority, have also expressed support for the bill. Pagcor, for its part, said they will follow the law, but has expressed serious concern over the possible negative repercussions of the tax bill. <coughs> Baka yung increased tax ay magkaroon ng epekto dun sa mga licensees natin ngayon na maaring okay. kapag uh, nakahanap sila ng jurisdiction who could offer better taxes, eh, maaari po silang lumipat. The proposed measure will have to be sponsored on second reading in the House plenary. For News 5 um, versus Nagit, we are them. One News. It's not only NEDA that counters the Office of the Solicitor General's view that POGOs are non-taxable. DOF Secretary Sonny Dominguez is citing the BIR, saying a taxpayer's income can be taxed where the service is rendered. This makes a POGO based in the Philippines subject to Philippine income taxes. The OSG earlier argued that while POGOs are operating in the Philippines, the bets are taken outside the country, hence not taxable under the source of income principle.